last monthly meeting for the year. Um, <coughs> we heard there's some VIP movement in the city. So uh, I guess those of us who, who've been here already have uh, kind of you know, reached here very fast because of that. You would have found very little traffic and then there are some of us who are all stuck on the other side of, uh, you know, the easy traffic. So they're on the way. <laughs> and um, I guess it's also holiday season. So we, in the EC, we were, uh, uh, you know, debating whether we should have a monthly meeting or not. So we said, no, let, let's have a monthly meeting. We know it's, uh, it's holiday time. But for those of us who have not gone for a holiday and who also experienced the conference, I think it's important to... Uh, no, make something uh, special for those of us who are back here, right? So welcome once again. So today's uh, event will be largely, um, <coughs> we'll start with a very quick recap of uh, the conference. We have the conference uh, vertical leads uh, here who will present very, no, a very short one or two slides on how it went and, okay, how many of us attended the conference here? Yeah, we've almost been there, right? So here's an opportunity to actually relive that in a very, very short, uh, quick, capsulated way. And then after that, we hand over to uh, our, uh, you know, partners for the evening, Fuller Life. So we said it's, uh, you know, year end and New Year's here, so we, we should have some fun. Um, no serious presentation, so we are going to have serious fun. So uh, while we kick that off, I'd uh, invite uh, my colleagues to come over and make uh, their respective presentations. Um, would you like to start, uh, Ranjan, on? Yeah, so I've got it organized. Ranjan, over, over to you. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be back here. And uh, I will share with you about what exactly happened at the HR Showcase, which has uh, now become the signature event of uh, the Bangalore chapter. And true to its word, we had a good time, uh, even this year also. Um, as you know that this is a platform which has been provided by the Bangalore chapter for the various stakeholders of the HR community, be it the corporate, be it the social responsibility side, be it the startups, be it the students, the academia, and the service providers to come and showcase their best practices, products and services. So uh, we had competitive categories uh, for all the categories except for the service providers. Uh, it's got, uh, we had of course three winners for the corporates and also introduce the runners up this year. Besides, we also had uh, winners and runners up for each one of the other categories. It's got bigger and better like uh, ever before. As you can see that we had 104 entries for the corporate HR best practices, of which 46 were showcased in the finals. 22 CSR best practices enlisted for the competition and 10 of them were showcased in the finals. 42 HR startups and 11 of them showcased into the finals. 31 HR service providers showcased their products and services. 12 research papers were uh, entered the competition of which seven came into the finals. And about 22 uh, business schools innovation practices were entered and about 11 of, nine of them came into the finals. We had 2000 plus uh, visitors and footfalls over the last, uh, two, for over the two days. Uh, we of course uh, started in uh, September, October had the problems in the month of November, and the finals happened on the 9th and 10th at uh, Bangalore. So these are the winners, uh, which has already been published. Uh, I don't think, I, uh, do you want me to read? I just keep it there for a minute. So we had uh, a good uh, representation from the corporate industries, from the manufacturing, from the service, from the sales organizations, and from the IT organizations, and people from across the country. We had uh, nominations from NOIDA, from Gurgaon, from Calcutta, from Bhubaneswar, from Coimbatore, from Gujarat, from Mumbai, Tamil Nadu, Mysore, and of course Bangalore. So we really enjoyed uh, hosting this, and we thank all the participants for the support and all the visitors who came. And we, we would like to ensure that this grows even bigger and better in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Ranjan. Uh, could we have the tech update uh, coming up next, Manish? So good evening, everybody. Uh, I'll give you a quick update on the technology work stream. The purpose of the stream was to you know, ensure that we accentuate and enhance the impact of the whole conference. 
Uh, the brief from Bala for us was very, very clear and simple. Two things essentially. Number one, we have to make sure that there is a wider reach and access to the rich content which the conference is creating to the larger mass, you know, who are not able to uh, attend this conference personally or physically. Number two, make sure that the tenets of the Bangalore chapter, which is engage, contribute and inspire, come to real life, okay, through the use of technology. So this is something which we attempted to do. Uh, what we did was, there was an NHRD national conference app, which was, uh, which was brought to life during that time. There were more than 1,000 downloads, uh, which, is, which is incredible. Uh, uh, you know, it hasn't happened in any of the other chapters so far. Uh, the app, I'm sure, uh, I hope some of you had used it. Did, did somebody use it? Okay, so it, okay, so only few hands have gone up, so you are not representing those thousand people <laughs> majority. So, you know, the app had the functionality of ensuring some of the basic information which was always at your fingertip, which was about the agenda and the speakers, but more importantly, it also, uh, you know, provided a platform to people to engage uh, through various polls, through various conversations. In fact, on the conversation space, there was a live Twitter feed which was appearing. So, you know, there was a lot of conversations happening, uh, you know, during that time. And also, people had the chance and opportunity to interface with uh, the delegates whom they liked. Uh, there was a functionality in the app which was built, uh, you know, supporting that. Uh, there was a live web streaming which happened of the event on both the days of the main conference. We had, uh, I hope the numbers, yeah, so three, three, six, four page views, you know, both the days. Uh, the conference was viewed by not only people in India, but also outside India. So there were people from US, from UK, from Japan, Singapore, Saudi Arabia, and also I was surprised to see a you know, country, Nepal, it was also there, you know, who accessed this. Uh, in India, again, uh, you know, uh, most of people were in Bangalore, but a substantial number of people also joined the conference from Delhi, from Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad, uh, Kolkata, so various places in India as well. Uh, so total 3364 views uh, during the two days. And the last one uh, was there was a lot of buzz created on the social media, especially Twitter. We were one of the strongest trending subjects between 30th of November and uh, 9th of December. Uh, the numbers uh, are, you know, kind of eye pop, you know, they are, they are in front of us, more than 1,500 tweets, 6,21,000 plus uh, direct reach and more than 36 lakh uh, potential impressions. So I think it was incredible what our you know, students who were working, there was a small team which was working on this, were able to pull this through. So I think overall, this is some of the benchmarks which this conference has set, uh, and I'm sure it will help uh, you know, the whole Bangalore chapter to again uh, you know, further raise the, the, you know, the flag higher and again pitch in for the best chapter for this year. Yeah, over to... Uh, thanks to NHRD, we had this wonderful opportunity of uh, hosting the pre-conference between the 3rd and the 6th of uh, December. I, uh, learning is very close to my heart, so I think it just happened that, uh, I would say it's called serendipity or whatever you call it, it just happened that I came over and then Bala got me into this trap of managing the pre-conference. But nonetheless, I think the la three months between September and December was wonderful. We had, did have some... Uh, painful moments and I would always write to him say hey I'm anxious about you know some level of response or whatever and through all the pain to him but nonetheless I think subsequently we have been able to manage to pull off a very very good sessions over the three days four days I think we had about 315 participants for the multiple programs that we had I think the uh, range of responses were from wow to say, hey, you know, this has been a great learning experience and some of the technological stuff which was there. I mean, people from Wellinkar as well as Narsi uh, Munji College, the professors who went there were also feeling that the um, innovation, the GE immersion programs were very, very well received. So I just want to thank Bala and NHRD for dumping this uh, problem on me. I think it was a good enjoyable uh, period for me as well. So just to give you a brief, uh, I think we had great learning events. The faculty were great. Even the participants enjoyed the 
outcomes of the programs. So we had masterclass sessions, flagship programs, fireside chats, and industry immersion. We just tried to bring in as much variety of um, you know programs as possible to ensure that all levels, all levels of uh, the professionals, including some of the academicians, would be able to participate and enrich themselves. So we had this variety of uh, programs. Uh, I'm not getting into all the details, but the social media recruitment was essentially for the recruitment fraternity. I think we had about um, 32 people, and uh, where Michelle was wonderful in organizing not only this particular program where she was the faculty, but um, I used to see all her responses at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and trying to respond to all the mails that were there during the course of the day. She managed the back end very well, and a special compliments to Michelle for doing that. I mean, she really did a wonderful job. Then we had this um, program at IBM that was the immersion program at IBM. This is one of the uh, showcases of uh, IBM, Watson, all the analytics platform, and how HRs could be transformed. And uh, people found it very, very um, thought-provoking is what I would say. We also had a similar program at um, GE, uh, again another immersion program led by um, Mohan Chandra of uh, Wellinker. He was a professor there and uh, he said he enjoyed it. I mean, he's essentially in charge of innovation and uh, creativity or whatever it is. But if a person at his level is able to enjoy and uh, understand the new technologies that are being there, and I'm sure you know all the other participants who were there on that day would have equally found it great, you know, wonderful experience. Future proofing your career was done by, I mean, it's essentially an HR competency model which was initiated by an HRD earlier on. I think they had a newer version which came in. Pallab and uh, Vidhi also did a great job that day. We had about 45 people participating. A lot of the youngsters were there and I think it did give them perspective of what they need to do to improve themselves and keep their careers uh, very strong ahead. We had two flagship programs, thanks to um, the Parampara Institute, headed by PM Kumar, Natarajan, and uh, Bhuvana Chakravarti. I think three of them really took the brunt of creating the program and running it through with two professors from EDI, uh, Dr. Sunil Shukla and Dr. Divedi. Uh, they run the program. It was initially planned for two days, and then we had to cut it short for various reasons. But I think the participants found it very, very innovative, and uh, the idea was to give them a spirit of entrepreneurship. It was how do we build in entrepreneurship within the organization, a spirit of intrapreneurship within the organization. So that was very well received. We also had a program for culture, uh, developing a culture of entrepreneurship amongst the HR folks. This was done in collaboration with the NS Raghavan Institute uh, Center for uh, Entrepreneurship and Leadership in collaboration with the Institute at IIM Bangalore um, basically anchored by Vasanti, uh, Professor Bhagavatullah, and uh, Sri Vardini Jha. Those three of them did it. We also had the uh, good fortune of having Pratik there, Pratik Kumar from Wipro, as well as uh, Shrikant from CSE there, giving their perspectives as to how they evolved.